Hey guys, so welcome to this mini video about the emotions. So the emotions, as we've discussed, are a key part of working with the law of attraction and they're intricately related to our thoughts and our thinking about um, of everything, really, about what it is that we want, but it, it is about everything. So knowing how to kind of control your emotions is really, really important. It's important for everyone. It's important for toddlers. It's important for parents. It's important, you know, and sometimes I feel like it's unfortunate that sometimes we expect more out of children, it seems like, than we do for our own selves. It's really important to stay open and honest and pure with emotions and with thoughts because it, it, there is a danger and a lot of people in life will go through life just really building they're they're just it's like you have the foundation and the foundation's messed up and their past is you know something was messed up and they they had a wrong thinking and then they just started getting on more and more wrong thinking and that's how people get so off track in life and all of a sudden they're just like why is my life so shitty you know why is my life so wrong why is everything so wrong about my life well because you were essentially building on the wrong things and it's crumbly anyway but then you're you have to just tell yourself lies you, it's denial and those things are choices you know even though sometimes we think it's more completely unconscious it's little choices that add up and again it feels subconscious but that's just because you're not wanting to do the work and deal with your shit this is again it's not just oh deal with your body and your physical body this is dealing with your whole energy all of your presence this is you this is when you think about you you need to remember that you are you know not just this body and this mind and your set of emotions you are your connection with the spirit you are your energy imprint onto this earth you this is it's all you holistic divine creature okay and you do have control over your emotions especially when you go through your thoughts you know it's a very um it's very practical way. It may not be an instantaneous way to change your, your emotions, but using your thoughts to change your emotions is probably the main way, you know, that is just so quick and so easy. But it's not necessarily the main way people do it because it takes like work. People would rather do drugs and feel better, you know, or have sex and feel better or go ride a roller coaster or go jump out of a building or, you know, what it is, whatever it is that is having that drug-like effect on them and so what happens is it's just so easy because it's, it's a flip switch it's a pill to take and all of a sudden you feel better um, and sometimes it doesn't matter you know if it ends up making us feel worse in the long run and we have to understand I'm not just talking about illicit drugs recreational drugs alcohol we're talking about coffee we're talking about food anything that you put into your body that changes the way you know that changes your brain basically and your chemistry and your your um it just has a, a, an effect you know it's basically a drug so relationships can be drugs everything like gambling you can get addicted to so many different things because it acts in this way it's not necessarily something you're putting in your body if it's gambling if it's a person well anyway never mind pay attention that just didn't happen <laughs> pretend that just didn't happen oh my gosh okay so these things are obviously very instantaneous. So we think of them, oh yeah, mood boosting drugs, mood boosting, you know, sex, whatever. But thoughts are a pretty cheaper, cheaper way, easier way, quicker way, you know, less calorie way, healthier way to control this. And we can, and we can use our physical too exercise yeah sex go for it like you can use those things to align yourself and to you know bring positive emotions into your body for sure um getting addicted to it and obviously using only that is not a good idea you want to have a repertoire here you know you want to have a lot of different things like my room is honestly full of different things I keep meaning to do a video on this like that can help you know help me pop my back or help me give me a massage or get a little workout or this you know have some little fun just get the body moving and it's amazing like it's just so great to have those things in my physical space so I can just reach for them and it makes me feel better even sometimes just seeing them you know knowing these are a part of my home um, being able to bam um, not you know you're not feeling right you need to pop that back you get on the yoga uh, roller Ooh, just crack my neck right there you know you just loosen it out and it helps you to feel better emotions in the present right now 
And again, you should really only try to do anything when you've brought your emotions up, when you've brought your energy up to a good place. So try to avoid doing anything until you can get find something. You know, sometimes it's literally as simple as getting grounded, holding a rock for a few minutes, keep a rock in your purse, a gratitude rock, you know, some bring it out and feel. Not only does this have an energy in itself that I'm feeling from, learning from, contemplating the energy of at any given second, you know, it can be a symbol of something else, a symbol of gratitude, a symbol of love. If you want to be reminded to send more love into the world, have a love rock that reminds you, you know, whenever you open, you put your hand on your pocket and you feel it there, or, you know, you see your purse or you open your wallet and it's there, you know, and it can be luck. It can be positivity. It can be whatever you want. Put your intentions onto something and carry it around you know maybe not carry around a big rock like this maybe a little you know a little gemstone or a little pebble or something like that can and you know we can worry we put our worries onto them you know rub rubbing rocks um are a great kind of stimulatory thing those stems stems are really you know we think of that as um people who have autism or who are on the spectrum have their stems that they do but those that's also it just helps us like physical things can help us to regulate our emotions and yeah taking a walk oh one of the best things because it's like a journey of life it's like a microcosm of a macrocosm it's a little journey that you're on you know you think certain thoughts at the beginning and then by the end you're in a completely different place you know your energy's pumping your uh, endorphins are pumping all of this you're feeling great you get sunshine and fresh air you get to see different things beauty nature love it so yeah sunshine is another drug it plays on our body it gives us something in our body to where yes it changes our moods very easily very easily don't be afraid you know of the sun don't be afraid to get up and move don't make exercise be this negative thing do the exercises pick out the exercises that are your favorite swimming dancing i got the indo board i like that simply fit twister board you can kind of get to dancing with that thing um i have that shaker weight and we're all joking around and having fun with that you know just doing uh, little weights on the rebounder running if you like running going to the ellipticals i like doing those the flow of it it feels so fun doing a little yoga here and there just not making it about oh i'm gonna do the same thing every single day and I'm gonna be a crazy person and spend my entire life at the, you know, like if that's who you are, that's great. I'm not knocking that. But a lot of people feel like, oh, well, because I'm not super healthy person, crazy gym rat, then I'm just not gonna do anything. And like a little stuff goes a long way. Little vegetables for your kids goes a long way, even for yourself. A little bit of stretching, a little bit of exercise, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of laughter, even just smiling, you guys. And you can smile on the inside of your body as well. Just think about smiling and your energy actually goes up. Think about, have your happy place. One of my favorite meditations ever, still to this day, is my happy place. I have this happy place, it's all set out. I've actually found places now in real life that are very, very similar that I believe are correlated to my actual happy place in my mind, but it's amazing. It's got water, it's got little hills and grassy knoll and like nature and trees and forests and like everything great. And I always feel great when I go there, you know, and it's just like, you just relax, you know, and you have the sun and you have all these great things. You don't even need the real stuff to, cause again, whatever we're putting into our, whatever, whatever the energy we're putting in is what we're gonna get out. It doesn't matter if we're actually doing it or not. It's just like practicing. I always tell my kids with basketball, practice making the free throws. It's just as good as real practice studies show. Your brain doesn't know the difference. Practice is practice. <laughs> practice yourself doing the things you want to do. Practice yourself, you know, and again, that's when you notice certain things. You're like, oh, well, I need to do that. Well, I better do that in real life. I better get ready for that or make this space or take care of that, you know, booking or what, you know, whatever it is. You are in control. Utilize these things to help you raise your vibrations. And it is the outer as well. You do have to kind of do the actions and follow through and take care of your house to a certain extent. I'm all about minimalism and you know feng shui. Not that I'm always like having a great house because that's just not gonna happen. Two teenagers, busy mom, single mom. You know, I've been low income for a very long time up until this point. So it's like, I couldn't always afford the best things. You know, you just have, it's, wow you know but you you don't have to have the best things to take care of what you have that's what it's all about and your environment is just an external energy source 
for you. It's a, it's maybe not a source, but it's the, it's a, the, it's your external energy bouncing off everything in your house. That's why we take care of that. That'll bounce back on your emotions as well and make you feel better when you're supported inside and out. This is why we take the baths and people think that that is self-love and that is a one little way to love yourself is by primping, pampering, getting the nails done, getting the hair done, getting the um, tan, getting the bath going on, the exfoliation, the facial treatments, whatever it is. Like these things are great if they're healthy, you know, and they may, I mean, to me, I always seek, seek out natural things because if it's not healthy on the inside, it's not going to be healthy on the outside either. That's just the way that it works. This is why your emotions, when your emotions are in the right place, I mean, it's going to affect your thoughts because right away you're getting feedback from these positive thoughts that you're thinking it's going to make you feel more confident to be a better manifester in the future, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, but you're also just feeling the effects of everything and it just feels so good. You know, all of these different mood boosters. And if you, you know, if you need to make a list of all these different things that make you feel good, I really find that that's helpful. Because sometimes when we're in our zone, if we get sucked into like a little negative, little mini vortex type of a thing, you're spiraling, you know, and you're like, oh shit, you know, what do I, what, I forgot what, what all these things, it just doesn't pop in your mind. Oh, go take a walk. Or unless, unless you're a dog, then you just go because you know you always have to take a walk. But you know, like, what about that thing? What about going to the spa, the gym? You know, what about doing this? Like, it's just like, oh, and then you have it all right there and you're like able like, no, I don't really feel like doing Sometimes you, you don't, you know, something would be good for you, but you just don't feel like it. Oh yeah. Well, I know taking a run is going to make me feel great right now, but I'm not going to do it because I don't feel like it. Listen to your intuition. Do one of those things on the list that does speak to you in that moment. Again, great to have a list. Laminate it. Put it in your wallet. I don't care. Keep it around, you know, in a notebook somewhere. Mood boosters emotion builders, like what, however you want to look at it, do what's right for you. And it can include, you know, a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of comfort food. I'm not saying don't. I mean, I'd say go vegan with it. Yeah, of course. Try to stay as healthy as you can because again, sometimes we think something's going to help, but it's just a band-aid kind of like drugs. You know, we the more we can do it on our own, the more we can take control of it and do it with our thoughts, do it with our physical, just do it with us and not without needing external things coming in. That is the real deal, but it is doable. It really is. And I don't think, you know, it's almost like we're scared to realize how powerful we are. So we put it onto other, we put it onto alcohol, we put it onto other things. We know we can, you know, it's just, but, but again, it's don't judge your own. Like this is, this is bad. As long as you have like this, you know, the less healthy things and the outside things in moderation. Yeah. Use them. But again, it's best if you take a little bit from this, a little bit from that, a little bit from this, a little bit from that one. It's best not to just go all in and be like, okay, alcohol is going to solve all my problems. No, a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of rest, a little bit of fun, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of ice cream, a little bit, you know, like vegan ice cream, of course, <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is, this is how we do it. And again, once you start getting in the groove, it just, everything becomes so much easier because yeah, your, your emotions are supporting your thoughts. Your thoughts are supporting your emotions. Your actions are also being affected. And that's when it all comes together full circle and you get the results and then you're like, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm a manifester. And then you know that you can manifest even bigger and better things in the future. So you really do have to, you know, think about all of it. You have to think about this part and that part you have to protect. Um, how you're thinking about things too. Sometimes it's like, okay, why? What is the emotion behind wanting this? Why do you really want that? Protect your intentions, protect your emotions, make it sure it's all good. Make sure that you're not doing this because you wanna be, you know, putting yourself top and boasting and, you know, ego reasons and all of this. Do it because you really want it. You really feel it. You're really following your bliss. You're really following your true deep down emotions. Most people have got this shit buried so far they can't even sit in a room with themselves at late at night without having so much stimuli to where they're drowning everything out. They're not listening. It might be uncomfortable at first. Dig down in there. What's going on? Check in with yourself. If you don't check in, who's going to? If you don't deal with this stuff, who's going to? If you don't deal with this stuff, you're going to project all of this stuff onto any person that comes into your life. Okay? dive deep, dig it out, dust it off, deal with it. You're remembering, you're recalling, you're reflecting, you're reframing, and then you remember your new reframe. And that's your new reality. 
You can change your emotions. You can change your thoughts. You can change all of it. Stay tuned and we'll talk about more about following through with your actions as well.